Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about this video today because it's October and we have finally gotten both of our October Ipsy bags in the mail. And I am so excited to open these up with you guys and show you what we got this month and try out some new makeup. As a reminder for those of you that don't know, Ipsy is a monthly beauty subscription where they send you five products a month. And that could be makeup, skincare, hair care, any beauty related item. And they have their base glam bag, which is a smaller bag and comes with five travel size products. They also have their glam bag plus, which comes with five full size products a month. Prices obviously vary depending on what bag you choose to go with. And the thing that I love about Ipsy is that first of all, you get these adorable bags, which as I told you guys in my previous video, I use them for everything. The second thing I like about it is that they do let you customize a little bit of your bag. So with the Glam Bag, you can choose one of your products a month. And with the Glam Bag Plus, you can choose three of the products that you get a month. And you can see ahead of time what you're getting, which is so fun. And I'm really excited to open these up with you guys and show you what we have and try on some new makeup. So if you are interested in Ipsy, check out their website, ipsy.com. You can sign up, you can check out the pricing, you can check out information about the company, and I would love for you guys to join. It's so much fun, and it's something that I look forward to every single month is getting these bags in the mail. So let's just go ahead and get started. We are going to start with the glam bag. Again, look how cute the bag is for this month. Obviously Halloween themed. Every month the bag comes with the card. It just has a theme and then some information sometimes about the products that you're getting or other tips and tricks for makeup, skincare, hair care, beauty items. And this month it shows you the products that you get in the bag and gives you information on how to use those products and what the benefits are. So in this bag, I really only did get a couple of makeup items that we're going to try. The others are skincare. So the first thing we have is this from Murad. This is the Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. And it is supposed to help visibly improve firmness and radiance, minimize lines and deep wrinkles, evens tone and hydrates. So obviously I won't be trying this in this video, but I'm super excited to test this out. I love this brand. They have such great skincare items. The next item that we have is from the brand Bloom. This is a hydrating facial cleanser. I love testing out new facial cleansers as well. So I'm excited to try this. Then we have this Plumpkin Retinol Eye Cream from the brand Tony Moly. I'm really excited about this because I love eye creams, first of all, and any retinols also I love and my skin loves too. And I can only imagine that it probably smells like pumpkin. So I'm excited to try this. And then the two makeup items we'll be trying today is first this liquid eyeliner from the brand Lottie London. This is the Wing Woman liquid eyeliner in the shade. It doesn't say the shade on here, but I'm just assuming it's black. Here's what it looks like. Let's check this out. Sorry, it's hard for me to do that way. But it looks really pigmented. These types of eyeliners typically aren't my favorite. I find them a little bit harder to use, but we're still gonna test it out and see how it works today. Then we also have this blush from the brand Real Her, and it is in the shade Not Your Average. It comes with a mirror, which is super nice. And then here is what the blush looks like. So it looks really pretty. So we'll test this out. I actually have a couple blushes. I got a blush palette in the other bag as well. So we'll test out both of those. So that was it in the Glam Bag. Now let's see what we got in the Glam Bag Plus. First we have these, this brush set from the brand MOTD. And this is just, I think, some face brushes. So we'll probably use, sorry with the lighting, there's a bigger one we'll probably use for bronzer, um, a blush brush, and then a, high, a highlighter or a sculpting brush. So we'll test these out. We have another facial cleanser from the brand Mazzy, Mazzy, not sure how you say that. This is the Balancing Multi-Effect Fast Zen Facial Cleanser. So again, I love trying out new facial cleansers. As you can see, the box got a little bit squished in the mail, but that's right, because here is what the cleanser itself looks like. So that will be fun to try out. Another non-makeup item that we got is actually a perfume. This is the brand Tokyo Milk. This is the French Kiss perfume. First of all, I love the bottle on this, if you can tell. I don't know if you can see, but it has the Eiffel Tower through the glass there if you look at it. It just looks really pretty. Now, spoiler alert, I did spray some of this on myself and it was really strong and it smelled pretty good, but my husband <laughs> did say it reminded him of his grandma. So we'll see how much use this one gets. If for some reason I decide I don't like it, I will see if someone else in my family would like to use it. But still, I love getting fragrances in my bags. I love testing out new fragrances and I just like to smell good. So excited to have this. 
The two makeup items we got first is a new mascara, which I'm really excited to try from the brand Il Maquillage. This is their Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. And here's what the product looks like. Let's see what the wand looks like. Okay, it's a plastic wand, if you can see. But I'm really excited to see how this works out. Testing mascaras is one of my favorite things to do and finding a good one is so exciting. So hopefully this works out and we'll test it out and see how we like it. And then last thing I mentioned for makeup is this Posh Powder Palette from the brand, not sure how to pronounce this, Duce, Duce, I'm not sure, honestly, sorry. I know I'm butchering that. But here is what the packaging looks like, really nice packaging. Comes with a nice sized mirror, which is awesome. And then it comes with three blushes and three highlights. I did swatch these a little bit. And the reason I did that is because I have tried eyeshadow palettes from this brand before. And to be honest, they were not my favorite. They were not very pigmented. So I was really curious to see how this was in comparison, just based off of swatches. And I wasn't too impressed off of the swatches. So we will have to test it out and see what we think about it. So stay tuned for that. So those are the items we're gonna be testing out in this video. I do also have one more item that I wanna test out. And every month when you are selecting the products for your bag, Ipsy does have extra products that you can add onto your bags for an additional cost. This product I saw and I really wanted to try it. This is from the brand Yensa. This is their Skin on Skin BC Foundation. And I have tried their concealer before and I absolutely loved it. So when I saw the foundation, I had to try it as well. And I'm really excited to use this. It also came with a beauty sponge that we're gonna test out with the foundation as well. So yeah, enough about the products. Let's just get into trying them out. Okay, so I have already primed my face. The primer I used is from Rodeal. This is the Soft Focus Glow Drops. And I love this primer because it gives obviously a really nice glow to the face. It is a little bit tacky, so it does give a nice base for the foundation to sit on. Okay, and we're gonna go in with this foundation and I am interested in this. First of all, it says it's full coverage. It also has SPF 40 in it, which is amazing. And I have mine in the shade Light Neutral. Like I said, we're gonna be using the beauty sponge that came with it. Here's what it looks like. Kind of an interesting shape. Got the pointed edge, which is nice for concealer. And then we'll use the side for foundation. I do also want to test the foundation with a brush. So we're gonna do half of the face with the beauty sponge and half of the face with a brush. With a beauty sponge, just make sure to get it a little damp before you use it and that will help in the application, but so far, I love this foundation. I shouldn't have put foundation on the other half of my face yet, but that's okay. The sponge is really soft, and I like the combination of those two together. It's really nice. We're gonna go in with a brush on the other side of the face. Okay, so looking at those side by side, honestly, I don't see that much of a difference between the sponge and the brush. The only difference that I can see is the side with the sponge just looks more dewy and this side looks a little bit more matte. But I think the color match was perfect for me. And I really like how that is wearing so far. And based off of first impressions, I actually really like that. I do want to see if we can build it up a little bit because it's not coming off as super full coverage to me right away. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more and see if we can build it up at all. And I'm just gonna take the sponge and work this in all over the face. I really do like this foundation. I think it looks really nice on the skin. So I am really excited about this foundation. I'm gonna throw on some concealer. And again, I'm use, gonna use the sponge to blend it out on this side and then use a brush on this side and see if that looks any different. The concealer I'm gonna use today is from Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Concealer. It's 
So we're gonna use the sponge. I'm gonna use the sponge on the middle part and then on this side of the face, and then we'll use a brush on just this under eye. I'm really liking this sponge as well. It's really nice. So that's blending out that concealer super easily. We're gonna take the brush on the other side. Okay, not noticing a huge difference between the sponge and the brush as far as concealer goes. I am noticing here this concealer is not sitting well today on my under eyes. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to wipe this off. It's just looking really kind of cakey and crusty. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on with that. It's like looking so crusty on my under eyes. I'm gonna go grab a different concealer and see if we can correct this problem. Okay, so I just went in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser because she normally doesn't ever let me down. But for some reason today, the under eyes are looking super crusty. Maybe it's just not agreeing with the eye cream that I used this morning. The second thing is the weather here has gotten so much colder and my skin is feeling the effects of that and getting super dry. And so it might just be that I need more moisture on my under eyes, but either way, we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna go in and warm up this skin a little bit using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I'm also gonna try blending this out with the sponge as well and see how this does. As I'm sitting here filming this, I can look out the windows at the mountains and they are covered in snow. It's so crazy that we're at this time of year where it's starting to snow again. I am definitely not ready for snow, but I will say that it just looks really pretty up in the mountains and I'm okay if it stays there. I'm gonna take the side we used for foundation and I'm just gonna run over all that just to kind of smooth out the lines. Just kind of make it blend a little better. We are not gonna go in with any cream blush or liquid highlight today just because I have the new blush and highlighter that I wanna test out. So real quick, I'm gonna put on my eyebrows and then throw on some eyeshadow and then we will come back Okay, I am back, brows are on, and I did throw in an eyeshadow look. And for those of you interested on my brows today, I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and then set that with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. For the eyeshadow today, I used the Wild Nothing Palette from ColourPop. And then I did throw a black eyeliner in the waterline, and this one is from NYX, the Retractable Eyeliner. Now we are gonna go in and try this eyeliner from Lottie London. Again, this is the Wing Woman Liquid Eyeliner. We are gonna try to do some resemblance of a wing today. So as I mentioned, with these types of eyeliners, I typically struggle with them. They don't go on as smooth on my skin as I've seen them apply on other people, but this one is actually working out pretty nicely.
and I am super happy with how that turned out. Okay, I'm gonna throw on some bronzer real quick before we test out the blush and highlighters. I'm gonna use this one from Basic Beauty and I did get this in an Etsy bag a few or so months ago. And it comes with three different shades here. I typically take the lighter two and mix them together. We're also gonna check out these brushes. I'm gonna take this big one here, which says this is the Golden Gem Bronzer Brush, and I'm gonna use this to apply that bronzer. I'm just gonna dip in both of those, tap off the excess, and start warming up the cheeks. This brush is super soft. Almost a little too soft for me. It's not quite blending as well as I would have hoped. And maybe that's a me problem. Let's try the other side. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna take this sponge and just go over that, kind of blend it out. Before we go into blush, I almost made the same mistake as I did in my last video and forgot the mascara. We have a new one to try out, this one from Il Maquillage. I don't wanna forget this, because I've been really excited to try this one out. Again, it's got a plastic wand, which I don't typically go for these kind of wands, but We'll see how it works out. Okay, off of first impressions, I actually really like this mascara. It is definitely giving me length and curl. Okay, so obviously the eye with and without. I actually really like this. Now the true test is gonna be, does it flake or smudge? And I will let you guys know in the description box after I wear it for the day. So make sure to check there for information about the mascara and then a list of all the products that I used in today's video. But so far, I think I really like this mascara. This might be one of my favorite things I got this month. Yeah, I think I really like this mascara and I will let you guys know how it wears throughout the day. Okay, and then we did get a couple blush items in the bag today. And I'm gonna take this brush from the new set we got. This one is the Get Cheeky With It brush. And I'm gonna start with this little guy here. I'm gonna start out with a little bit since I don't know how pigmented it's gonna be. Okay, I like this brush too. And the blush, I think, looks really pretty. Yeah, I really like that color. I think it looks really nice. I'm gonna take a clean brush, and with this palette, I think what I'm gonna do is just dip into all three. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I didn't know how this was gonna go because like I said, I've tried one of their eyeshadow palettes before and it just wasn't that pigmented, but this blush actually looks really nice. All right, so, so far the blush is a hit. Now let's dive into the highlighters in the palette. I'm gonna use the last brush that came in that brush set. This is the Supermodel Sculpt brush, which we're gonna test it with highlighter and see how it works. I might... I might just do the same thing and grab a little bit of each of these. I definitely don't like this brush for highlighter. I'll have to try this one with our contour sometime. I'm gonna grab my normal brush that I use for highlighting. Again, I'm just gonna dip into each one of those. Okay. It's not as intense of a highlight, which is actually kind of nice. Sometimes I don't want a really intense highlight. So this one's pretty just to kind of give a little glow to the skin. Let's try it on the other side. Okay, yeah, I like that. 
So add a little to the nose. Then I'm gonna pop some in the inner corner and I think I'm gonna take the lightest shade in here. Sorry, it's upside down. I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna use this to highlight the inner corners just so we can see what one of them looks like on their own. Again, it's not super intense, but I kind of like that for highlighter. So for their eyeshadow palette, that was a pass for me, the last one that I got. I actually like this palette so far. I'll have to keep using it. But so far, I like it better than the eyeshadow palette. Okay, I'm gonna throw in some setting spray. I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Passion Session Face Mist, and I think this was just limited edition, but it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna go pop on a lip real quick and then I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back and the lips are done and I just wanted to give you some of my final thoughts. So overall, I actually really liked this month's bags. First of all, the bags themselves were super cute and will get a ton of use here. But I wanna start with some of my favorite products and first of all is this mascara. I think this mascara is really nice. It looks really good on my lashes and I can't wait to keep trying it out. I will let you guys know if it does flake or smudge, so keep an eye out for that. Another item that pleasantly surprised me is this face palette here with the blushes and highlighters. After my last impression with this brand and their eyeshadow palette, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but this actually turned out to be really nice, so this will definitely get more use. Another item that actually surprised me is this liquid eyeliner. It went on super easily. It's very pigmented and it was really user friendly. The brushes were just okay for me. I will keep trying them out and see if I can get used to these brushes, but they are really pretty and they are super soft. So I will continue to keep using these. I also liked this little guy here. I think it's a really pretty color and I really like how it blended and how it looks on the skin. And last thing that was not actually in my bag, but that I added on was this foundation and this sponge. I think these are really nice products and I will get great use out of both of these things. I'm also really excited to try the skincare products that I got for this month. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested to check out Ipsy, go to ipsy.com. I will leave their link in the description box as well. It's a really fun subscription and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.